Hey guys, you're watching Katie Crafts. It's been four years since I started this YouTube channel and I thought I'd celebrate with another BTS dollhouse video that some of you guys may be familiar with by now. I love building miniature things and I'll be using this kit sent to me from Bangit.com with my added modifications to make it fit the DNA MV theme. So I have a few wallpapers that I designed just using Microsoft Paint and I'm going to cut them out and use some Mod Podge to glue them onto the boards. I made sure to squeeze all of the air bubbles out and flipped it around to cut off the excess using an X-Acto knife. I did the same for the rest of the wallpaper and the provided wooden floorboards. And for this wall, there's supposed to be a window but I decided to keep the wall to put up a poster that you'll see later on. This piece is glued onto the floor piece as a piano platform and now all of the structural pieces can come together. Here's what the overall frame of the bedroom looks like, and if it looks familiar, it's because I took the design from this part of the music video. Now for the wooden furniture, assembling these are pretty straightforward if you follow the instructions exactly as they are shown, and the first one I'm making is Suga's Piano, and let me just warn you that this kit is very detailed and small, so it can be difficult to assemble all the tiny pieces together, and the tweezers definitely helped in a lot of these assemblies. Well, in the meantime, I guess we could talk about BTS and how it's been four years since I started my YouTube channel as you watch me assemble this piano. It's been around a year since I made my Blood, Sweat, and Tears dollhouse, and I was kind of afraid that my subscribers would have no idea why I made that video since it was a K-pop group dollhouse instead of my usual perler bead videos that I've been doing for so long. I just wanted to try something new, and although I still make perler bead things, I really love miniature dollhouses that I can design to fit the complex themes of K-pop group music videos, specifically BTS's. I've noticed a few of my new subscribers are K-pop fans from all the profile pictures and interesting usernames that I've seen. I hope you guys like these dollhouses that I've made so far and this is probably my favorite one since I study biology and for the past few weeks I've been non-stop learning about DNA in my genetics and biochemistry courses and to have an entire k-pop song with their insane DNA helix dance move thingy it's just really cool to see and also fun to understand all of these science references. Alright, back to the video for a sec. I'm assembling a bed here and using the templates provided in the kit, I cut out some felt pieces that will act as cushioning for the headboard. You see how detailed this thing is? And using the felt with little flowers on it, I covered up this cushioning piece and glued it onto the headboard while also putting some nice chain on it to just make it a lot prettier. I recommend using a ruler to level off the side poles in order for the bed to not be wobbly. Then I made this paper mattress, covered it in cloth, and assembled the bed together. You know that whole Smeraldo flower theory and how Jin was holding up these beautiful flowers in one of his Twitter pictures? Well, these flowers instantly reminded me of that, so if I were to give this bedroom to any one of the members, I'd probably give it to Jin. Next up is a really easy to assemble table that will go beside the couch in the living area. Here's the couch that I put some cushioning onto and covered entirely in some cloth. After gluing the pieces together, I didn't really like the green with white polka dots look on the couch, so I just painted the whole thing blue like the one that the guys were sitting on. Okay, now for the fun part, we're assembling the paper pieces. I printed out a bunch of tiny textbook covers and accordion folded this long strip that will make a book. Then I glued the textbook covers onto it, and ta-da! It looks like somebody's been studying up on genetics and biochem. 
Following that same procedure, I made my own Love Yourself photo book with more pictures that I found in the music video. You guys do not know how hard it was to stop at the exact moment of some of these poses. But anyway, I accordion folded all of them and it turned out great. I made two other albums that look more like the actual album that you buy. The actual album has some hollow on it. Maybe that's why Simply No Logical listened to their music. I think it's around 30 times bigger than the one that's in my hand. I chose a lot of the pictures from other versions that were in my version, which was the V version. Get your album at Walmart. Not sponsored, but get it. Yes. Lastly, I printed out some more abstract photos with some cool geometry, and these will be little posters that I will hang on the bedroom wall. I put a cardboard back onto these photos to give it a little bit more thickness and dimension when it's on the wall. And you could do this with any pictures you choose. This is honestly the most fun part. You can be as creative as you want. These wooden boards will make a shelf and I used a brown marker to give it a stained look. Lastly, this is the bedside cabinet. Again, it's very straightforward build and we're almost done, guys. These are the other miscellaneous items that I assembled off camera. And now it's time for everything to come together. First, the stairs and the railings go up. I printed a blue rectangular carpet that the couch will go on top of and put the lamp beside the couch. I made the lampshade yellow which kind of goes off the theme from Serendipity. And my mom helped me sew these tiny pillows that also came in the kit. A really cool thing about this kit is that it comes with a calico cat. and. This is Jimin's cat basically, because he is singing Calico Cat in Serendipity. And Calico Cats actually have some special genetic significance since they have X gene activation and deactivation. But that's pretty cool that there was a Calico Cat in this kit. The laptop is showing a video of DNA and I put my genetics books up on the shelf that is above the bed with some other miscellaneous items. Of course, we got the Gucci slippers. And the posters, you can put as many or as little as you want. Arrange it anywhere and that tops off everything. I put this poster in front of what would have been a window and I put Tata in the window box so that it's a Tata box. There are three working lights in this kit and I just attach the gray wires with the red wire and the white wires with the black wire. And there we go. That is the DNA dollhouse. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I know you've been waiting for Perler Bead videos, but I will get to that eventually after I'm done studying about DNA. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's ever watched my videos, subscribed, or is continuing to watch my videos. Four years ago when I started this channel, I never thought that I would reach 30,000 subscribers, which is what we're just over right now. Thank you guys so much once again, and I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye!